You're the flag. Yeah, She's you flag. are a walking red flag. She's no wonder you're flag. airing everyone else. <laughs> yeah. You can't even see us tiny little, <laughs> uh, little toothpick yeah, things yeah. down here. You can't see all that. <laughs>I'm ready, bro. I'm ready as always. I'm ready. Let's as go. As you know, guys, we go straight into the question of the week. And the question this week was, what's red? Wow. A? A? Ooh. <laughs> I'm saying the alphabet. What's one red flag you wouldn't mind ignoring? Okay. As per usual. Juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. All right. Um, say less. What's one red flag you wouldn't mind ignoring? Foreskin. Uh-huh. <laughs> Swear. That's what the streets are saying. Foreskin. Foreskin is what they're they're saying. Okay, first of all. (laughs) Triggered. Okay, first of all, uh, why is Foreskin a red flag? They said it's a waving red flag. To be fair, I remember we've had this conversation before. (laughs) I said, oh? I remember we've had this conversation before because obviously I know that some men have that like turtleneck thing. Okay. I don't have that. Okay. So like whenever people talk about foreskin, Mm. I'm always a bit like, hmm? Okay. Like say less, like it's not that big a deal. Mm-hmm. But then like when I've done my research and I've gone back on yeah. my like previous escapades. Okay. They'll say like, bro, to be fair, I thought you were circumcised. Okay. Like when I've spoken to people, they're like, oh, to be fair, I thought you were, the first time I thought you were circumcised. Okay. So maybe I don't, maybe I just get triggered for no reason. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. But certain man, yeah, obviously your boy spent his time online. <laughs> I know what's out there, isn't it? Unfortunately... <laughs> I know what's out there. I know what's yeah, out there. Yeah, there's thick turtlenecks out there. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can see probably this much of man's, yeah, this this much of man's tings at the top. You just get that little, that little dome at the top. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, when I see that, I'm like, raw. 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 But yeah, apparently foreskin. Is, okay, fair Foreskin enough. is a, they say they wouldn't mind, you know. Ignoring that red flag. Eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, say less. <laughs> when their socials say they make beats. Beats. Oh, why wouldn't you mind ignoring that? Oh, I mean, wh- uh, yeah. Why would why would you want to ignore that? When the socials make I make beats. beats. Yeah, with a Z. No, no, just with a Z. But I do get that because I hate not. I don't necessarily care, but I tend to dislike when I see um, on female socials when they say, or not even female socials, just socials in general when they say, oh actor model something like you don't need to tell me you're a model yeah, or an actor yeah, yeah, the yeah. streets would have told me by yeah. now. do you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. like denzel doesn't put on his bio he's an actor, actor. we know yeah, you're an actor yeah, 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 the yeah. street doesn't say dre is an, uh, a model we know she's a model yeah, yeah, do you know yeah. what i mean just act or model and we'll we'll do the we'll rest find out we'll yeah, do the yeah, rest yeah, don't yeah. tell me you're an actor yeah, yeah, yeah. i hear you i hear you or a model yeah, yeah, yeah. or a this or a that yeah you know what i mean because it just means you're a liar yeah because bio means wannabe in it bio basically means wannabe but yeah, okay. Too much money from an un, uh, too much money from an un, uh, the blood clot. I can't say you an right? unidentified source without taking a break. All right, let, yeah, take a break. <laughs> too much money from an unidentified. I, I can't huh? say huh? <laughs> from an unidentified source. The Lord promised me abundance. I'm just going to say, let's just ignore that one and move on because, because I just... Yeah, you can't wrap your head yeah, around I, it. Yeah, yeah I can't yeah, wrap yeah. my head around it. I'm sorry. I couldn't even... From an un, I, I still can't say it. From an unidentified source. From an... an, an I'm spitting. Oh, literally. God. Come again. Banger. Donato. See, I'm a party hard, you know. Wow, throwback. That she obviously wants to look at her phone when it lights up, but ignores it. Mm, that is a red flag. That is a red flag. She obviously wants to look at it, but she ignores it. Ooh, that make, that'll make me want to grip mm, it. That'll make me want to grip mm, it. Who is it? Yeah. Who and what is it? <laughs> show yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> show me. Since you're meant to be in love with me, show me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Since you're meant to be in love with me, show me. <laughs> oh, What's God. one red flag you wouldn't mind ignoring? Thick saliva. Oh, Jesus. Family, thick saliva. That's different. Bro. Different. 
fro. I didn't even know there were different like viscosities for um, saliva. Because, yeah. And it's you're thirsty. Yeah, because there's saliva and then there's phlegm. Yeah. Phlegm, I think, is what he or she is talking about. And that's grotesque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a waving red flag. Yeah, there's obviously like, there's, yeah, there's actually, no, there's three different types. There's saliva, mm-hmm. which is just like. Yeah, natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The natural viscosity, the whatever, yeah. The then normal. there's spit. When you're, mm. it's white and you're thirsty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's phlegm. Yeah, yeah. phlegm is. Which is just here. gloop. Yeah, it looks like is. those aliens that you used to throw on the wall. And they, or the oh, insects. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah, used yeah. to like, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Phlegm is from the depth of your soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's got a big D, I can ignore the three in one shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> three I, in one? Three in one. What is that? I'm, Fuck no. Three in one. Fuck no. So you got shampoo, conditioner, conditioner and probably and body wash. Yeah. <laughs> shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in one. I prom- to be fair, nah. that's not no, no, I've no, seen no. that in hotels. No, you haven't. I promise you I've no, seen no, that in no, hotels. No, no, I no, 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 disgusting. Oh, factual it is. How it's can disgusting it... and it's, it's bad for the environment, surely. Oh, it's they, terrible for it, everyone. It's, it, that can't run. That corrupts cells. 100%, one million percent. Three in one. Three in one. How can it condition my hair and wash my armpits? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make the sense. Only, the only, literally, the only sense it makes is is just conditioner. Mm. It's just mm. smelly, nice conditioner. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it can't yeah, be the yeah, other yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, it just yeah, has yeah, to be yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three in they one. They probably just write three in one. Bro, yeah, it's I probably understand. hand wash. Yeah. Hand wash and probably they just write three, three in, in one. one yeah, and use you, it. And you just put it everywhere. Yeah, just clean and I sharp. Would, that's the, one of the main reasons why I never use, I always bring my like soap and whatever when I get yeah, to the hotel. I never use this ever. When they disappear for an unexposed amount of time, but they still pay your rent. Fair enough. Raw. So he's not even replying, but the rent's still getting paid. Rent so she's just month. not even asking questions. You know what? My lights are still on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It could be worse. It could be worse. It literally it could, could be, be worse. worse. It could be worse. Okay. Her having an OnlyFans, but with only three subs. Oh, that is a red flag. That is a red flag. I don't know what flag color that is. Bro. That's a checkered flag. It's because yeah. the game's over. It's over. The race is done. It's a checkered flag. It's a checkered flag. <laughs> It's a checkered flag. The race is done. Facts, bro. I could never find that out. The, I, the thing that I think is a baddie, a baddie, and I, I'm surprised she even wants to be yeah, with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that she's much. doing up OnlyFans. You find out, you try and say, uh, I'm like, let me just throw okay, her some okay, support, okay, isn't okay, it? Yeah, you sign less. up the little 999, whatever yeah, yeah, it yeah. is, and there's you and three other men. It says following, following zero, followed by four. I'd be so disgusted i promise you right now i'll be so disgusted especially if she's popping on instagram and she's been doing it for months the link trees in the bio for months yeah popping on instagram four followers that's humiliating four followers and she identifies with this career yeah like where are, are you getting your money from? yeah yeah, yeah literally because that's 12 pound in my yeah yeah, yeah yeah you're on universal credit oh right you're, you're doing, on universal credit you're doing something you're and you're doing making something. like yeah like 20 quid a month on OnlyFans. <laughs> Right, continue. What's one red flag you wouldn't mind ignoring? Pronouncing the L in salmon. Salmon? Yeah. Oh, God. No, yeah. I'm not ignoring that. I'm not ignoring that. <laughs> My ears would perk like a meerkat for her. Yeah. Salmon. <laughs> I'll take the salmon. The smoked salmon. <laughs> I couldn't be on a date with a baddie and hear that. No, I, I couldn't. couldn't. Useless. I and I'm like, this useless. Is useless. Useless. And it's just like, I, I'll, if I'm, I'll go into the bathroom and wash my face. <laughs> And because then, I'm vain, on, bro. Just look at the mirror. I'm vain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Self-reflection thing. I'm vain. <laughs> yeah. Salmon. And I'll be like, where are we going to, James, what are we going to do, yeah, bro? Yeah, what are we yeah, going to do yeah, after yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because where does just, it go from Yeah, here? because I feel like I'm taking advantage. <laughs> I feel like she can't speak. Take the poor thing can't speak. Oh, my day. Salmon. That's hilarious. He wanted, he want, huh? him wanting me to be in... Start again and then just say it. Just get it over with. Him wanting me to be the nanny to his kids just so I can see him more. That's treacherous. And she doesn't mind ignoring she that. She doesn't mind ignoring that. Him wanting to be the nanny to his kids yes. so they can see each other more. Because he's married. Ooh wow. wee. Ooh wee. Wow. Sticky. One of those tinted screens or cases on their phones. Don't worry, I'm going to find out anyway. <laughs> what? 
Don't worry, I'm going to find out me. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I lied. No, you won't. <laughs> Factual. Leave me alone. No, you won't. Don't worry, calm as fuck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to find out anyway. anyway. That's a... Uh, you're the flag. Yeah, She's you flag. are a walking red flag. She's no wonder you're red... airing everyone else. <laughs> yeah. You can't even see us tiny little... <laughs> our little toothpick things yeah, yeah. down here. You can't see all that. Facts, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to know how red that flag really is. Is it more orange red, bright red or burgundy? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Man doesn't care. <laughs> Crazy exes. Because that means he's got that thing on him. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Fam, that just... That, my pupils just dilated yeah. when you said that. My pupils just dilated. He's got that thing on him. Oh, no. I've never thought about that. <laughs> I've never thought about that before. Raw, oh, raw. <laughs> they want all the smoke. Oh, they want raw. all the smoke. Because <sighs> she was willing to tolerate anything. Anything, because that pipe is too good. Say less. <laughs> Say less. I'm gonna have to just start acting up yeah. to see what. Well, yeah, 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 just to make sure. Yeah. I'm gonna just have to come in in my boxes and a wife beater, yeah. just start smashing stuff and just staring at her. <laughs> Say something. Staring at her. Half drunk Lucas Aid in hand, just squeezed. Looking like fucking Uncle Ruckus or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking like, um, what was it? Looking like um, Samuel L in that meme. The oh, oh, yes, oh. yes. <laughs> That's actually the picture that came to my head, but yeah, I thought of Uncle yeah, Ruckus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that from Django or something? Uh, is it Django? Um, I think it might Wait, be Django. Old. Yeah. I'm sure it's Django. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, could, it might be Django. It might be another one. Might, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I know bro, exactly which meme you're 100% about. that. Mm. And then I'll just leave and slam the door and not say anything. <laughs> And if she's still about it the next day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know my pipe is yeah, good. Yeah, you got that thing. Yeah. I know I've got that <laughs> dang thing. <laughs> Those jokes. <sighs> she doesn't work, but boy, does she give that good loving. Mm, she doesn't work. That's a flag, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <sighs> but she got that good loving. Mm. That Nokia ringtone. Oh, hey. No, <laughs> hell no! That dint, dint, dint. Oh no, 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 no! And you know what vexes me about that? It vibrates twice in between rings. Oh, yeah, there's no rhythm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dun, dun, dun. yeah, yeah, yeah. Vexes me. Vexes me. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Livid, bro. Yeah, bro. Hell no, I'm not ignoring that. Oh, hell no, shit. I'm not ignoring that. When she confidently pulls out a credit card with another man's name on it. That is wild. And we're just ignoring this. We're just ignoring it. Who is she? Who is, who is she for me to ignore that? And who am I for me Bam! to ignore that? That's the question. Who am I is the question. <laughs> and What's going on yeah, here? In, in the social hierarchy, where do I think I lay? Yeah. Because I just saw a next man's name and I just shrugged. I just and said, fuck it. So she's already paying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's already paying. Strike one. Strike one, <laughs> and then it's next man's card, Strike and I'm supposed two. to just sit here and, and do what? I just firm it, just firm it. Look on the bright side. <laughs> it could have bright side. I could be paying. Yeah, yeah, it could be me. <laughs> oh dear, I could be the one whose card she's spending on next yeah. man. Yeah. That's why we're ignoring stuff. Look on the. This is a glass yeah, half full moment. Yeah. This is a learning moment. It could be my card. It she's could be my for card and man. not me. I could never, <laughs> ever find out my car's being used by my girl on another date with a man. Oh, bro. I could never just look at, like, my statements and just see, like, like an odd number to be spent at, like, pret a manger. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like like a 19 pounds. Yeah, yeah. Like, what? What did when? you order? When? Yeah, yeah. That, I know that wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I had a shop there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know what I mean? And like, what did you get? 19 pounds. I know press expenny, press but it's expensive. not 19 expensive. Yeah, it's not in 19 expensive because you either got two drinks and a Danish. <laughs> yeah. But like their meal deal was like seven. So where are what, we? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, you would have had to get multiple drinks. Or are you tipping? What's yeah, yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd meet it. If I saw 19 pounds at prep, 
Yeah. You're a cheat. Show me the receipt. Yeah, you're a cheat. Show me the receipt or else we're going down to that store. On a security cam thing? <laughs> we're going to that store and you have to point out what you ordered. <laughs> you have to point out what you ordered. 19 pounds on Pratt. Yeah, that's nah. the thing. If you actually took her down there and then she was like, um, um, I ordered this, this, this. As soon as I'm seeing two sandwiches yeah. or two beverages, I'm, yeah. like, I'm walking out. <laughs> Who did you buy this for? Yeah, yeah. Because you didn't have a, you didn't have a sandwich for lunch and dinner. Yeah, yeah. Or for breakfast and lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't got this kind of appetite. Yeah, you don't. Don't lie to me. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't and you don't work, me. so it's not even like you needed to stockpile. <laughs> or it's not even like you had regions of the office yeah, you're getting yeah, stuff for. Yeah, you Who don't is he? Work. Who is he? <laughs> oh, <sighs> a guy not using a condom on his first link. Like, damn, I know you a hoe. This shit's finna be good. Oh we. Yeah, oh we. Okay, I got a couple more. Uh, just a reminder: what's the one red flag you wouldn't mind ignoring? A bit of OCD. Get that hoovering done. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. We had get that hoovering done. Jokes. Cares too much about star signs, but gives me such good head it turns me into an Aquarius. <laughs> oh my god. What does that even mean? Gushing. It means it's gushing. Oh my days. That's me into an Aquarius. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that was that was the um question of the week, guys. All right, Peng. I hope you liked it. All right, cool. Fucking awesome. Awesome man. guys. So thank you for coming back. Yes, um happy Monday. Yes, if you are uh if you're on top of things. If you're on top of things, it's Monday today. Factual. If you're lazy, it's Tuesday or Wednesday or mm, wherever whenever you're getting to this. Mm, mm, um mm. but yeah, guys, obviously. Welcome back. Welcome back to uh, Shits and Gigs. Thanks. Welcome back to the cult. And if you really, 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 really want to be a true member of the cult, you need to pause the episode right now. Right head here, on right over now. to patreon.com forward slash Shits and Gigs, guys. So what is Patreon? What's going on over there? So yeah, Patreon man. is the platform we use to give uncensored, unedited bonus content every single Thursday. We have a massive, now massive nah, Discord yeah, server where all the cult babies come together and discuss cool shit. Apparently, one thing in there was doing up the splits in a G-string the other day. She called it pole fitness. Yeah. But, bro, I don't know what pole <laughs> we're talking about. Yeah, hey, come on. Yeah, but that's up come to the on. imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, I'm playing. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so patreon.com forward slash it's gives. It's going to cost you £3 a month. 10p a day. You need to run the P to S&G, S&G, guys, and really, really embrace the cult. Facts. Um, guys obviously if you are watching us on YouTube please do us a massive favor and subscribe to the channel if you are listening on any podcast app please give us a review as always guys five stars is preferable but whatever you need to say say it with your chest and we'll be done with it okay cool back to the episode I need to introduce you to my co-founder oh come on my best (laughs) friend best friend Fire Lord Fwakes, <coughs> who's going to educate us, hit us with some knowledge, let us know what's going on in the world today. Let's go. You probably know this already. Uh, Mr. Beast is now, is now the most subscribed YouTube content creator after overtaking P and PewDiePie. Overtaking P- who? P- P- PewDiePie. P- yeah, 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 PewDiePie. Yeah, yeah. PewDiePie. 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 Yeah, I did know this. Yeah, I, th- I thought so. <laughs> um, Jimmy Donaldson, better known as Mr. Beast, has officially become the number one YouTube influencer with 111 million subscribers and counting. After reaching his long-time goal of acquiring 100 million, 100 million subscribers in July, Mr. Beast continued growing his fandom. According to Forbes, the 24-year-old earns or earned around 20, 54 sorry, million dollars in 2021, which his net worth is currently around $25 million. He reportedly makes around $5 million a month, making, you, making him YouTube's highest paid content creator. Yeah, he makes racks, bro. bro he was, makes racks and spends racks. He does. He does, because I... I think this past week I've been binging quite a few of his videos while I've been like packing and organizing my stuff and whatever. And because I, I subscribe to him as well. And I've only seen the ones that I've seen in the past are like the Charlie, the Charlie and Chocolate Factory one, mm. the um, Squid Games one. And I think I've seen another one as well. But yeah, I was just randomly binging them. I was thinking, see, so yeah, I was randomly thinking like, yo, you make racks, but you spend on these videos. You it fucking does. spend on these he videos. And it's a like, bunch, bro. I would love to, obviously, I think you mentioned it before. Was it Mr. Beast you were saying that how he he always asked people in any circle like, oh, what's the best thing for YouTube? What's the best thing for that? I think, was it you? <sighs> Elaborate, what do you mean? Because, um, well, the question I wanted to ask is like, I wonder how he, how he started, because I've not seen his, I don't know what his first video is. His oh, first ever video, do you know okay. What I mean? So I wonder how he started 
And if he went down, if he went down the route of what he's doing now, i.e., um, spending money to like create a uh, create a video for like audience members or people that he brings in or whatever. So I don't know how he even. I broke into that. Broke into style. this space oh, yeah, or this yeah, style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because so he, all of his videos are so expensive. Yeah. So he used to do, he's always done like challenge based videos. Okay. And a lot of them would be with himself. <clears throat> okay. Um, and like he's done like others, he's done like stuff where like, um, he's done videos where he's um, like, I think he did one where he counted to 10,000 or maybe 100,000. Really? Just sat there and counted. And that was like, I think that video blew up. Oh, wow. And um, he's done ones where he's like, I think he said like Logan Paul, like a, a, a shit ton of times. Just said the words Logan Paul, Logan Paul, Logan Paul, Logan Paul. Like, like a, I don't even know, like a hundred thousand times or something ridiculous like fuck? that. He's always done like weird challenging mm, type stuff. Mm. And then he slowly transitioned because he does a lot of like philanthropy stuff. He's passionate about yep. like giving. Yep, um, yep, yep, yep. So then I guess as he started making money, he's like slowly started to include that and i think when it really started was when he started getting sponsorships okay so there were like i think there was times where they've been like oh uh, i think maybe the first time i might be wrong but i'm pretty sure the first time he gave away like a decent amount of money was uh, a sponsor came to him and were like oh we'll give you five grand to do this video mm-hmm. and he said give me 10 grand mm-hmm. and i'll just give the money away and i promise you the video will do better than mm-hmm. if you just gave me five grand to yeah for me to have mm. and lo and oh, behold old. they gave him the money yeah, yeah. he gave the money to to Whatever. the contestants the and stuff yeah. like that um and ever since then it's been like give money for this give money for that and then uh, he's always had like a very game show challenge style mm-hmm. type of content mm-hmm. um that people seem to obviously love and uh yeah man that's how we got into like the the giving money style things and a lot of it was always a sponsor will come like mm-hmm. we'll pay you half a million for this video and then all of a sudden that video he'll be given away half a million mm. i know a lot he said he's mentioned a lot of times that that will he gets tripped up in that because as we know now a lot of time brands take a long time, a long to, time pay to pay you pay, yeah, yeah. so there's been times he's had to take out massive loans okay uh because yeah he'll pay obviously he has to pay when he gives it to people yeah he has to give it them on the spot on the spot yeah and then yeah. he's got like employees to pay and he's got like to live and all this yeah, stuff so like yeah, there's yeah. been times we have to take out massive loans oh shit and then obviously the sponsor will pay and mm-hmm. he'll pay off his loan and stuff like that but like i think he he said like now i'm pretty sure he's got like enough money in his bank that he never has to do that so he can give away a million did you see the video he did the other day where he gave chunks his debit card yeah well so i saw what everyone had to touch the jet and yeah, blah, blah. yeah so yeah, i saw yeah. that video but i didn't see the video chunks did of him spending oh, the oh money. i saw it yeah, so i yeah. need to see that video yeah yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. i saw the video of him everyone touching the jet and blah 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 mm. yeah i saw that video they yeah. spent money on that they card did that's what, 10 bags or something like 100, 100 bags? bags 100 bags yeah him and speed spent yeah. 100 bags 100 bags bro they just went and they just went harrods they didn't go anywhere else <sighs> they were spending money in there to be fair if if Mr. Beast offered me that whilst I was touching a jet for like God knows how many hours, I would do exactly the same thing. Oh, Chunks wasn't about it. He was not about it. Oh, what? In oh, that video, yeah, oh, yeah. No, he, he was done immediately. Yeah, 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 he he looked done. knackered. He and did, I, was, yeah. I remember because of the timing, I was yeah. thinking, I wonder if this was the day after we saw him. Because oh, we saw him at an event yeah, 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 uh, two, yeah, yeah, like two weeks yeah, ago yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I was yeah, like, and Mr. Beast has yeah, been in the UK for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was thinking, he looked shattered. He was doing stuff last night. Um, but yeah, man, like I, I, I'll, I can talk about Mr. Beast for hours. Yeah, he's, um, he's killing it. So he I'm surprised it. it's taken him this long to get in front of PewDiePie. But okay. like um, PewDiePie has just been like, PewDiePie is like the goat of what YouTube. Is he, he does all sorts, mm. but he's very minimalist style. Okay. He's always like him, headphones. Like he doesn't do these yeah, like grand, grandiose okay. videos. It's just him in his room, headphones okay. on, just even narrating to mm. stuff, reacting to stuff, gaming stuff, whatever. Mm. He just does that kind of content, but he's okay. just been doing YouTube for, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> he's been doing YouTube forever. Fair enough. Forever. Fair so enough. yeah, man. Um, like, yeah, literally good on him. Um, he's, he's, doing, he's doing the damn thing for sure. Seems like it, man. Like all these videos are, are clean too clean i watched quite a few of them quite a few of them the other day <clears throat> yeah, so yeah he's, he's banging man he he's knows what he's doing he does um anyway. right so one thing i need to talk about mm. i'm way late now i'm over a week late but we're gonna talk about it mm. so mm. as i'm sure everyone knows my boy is he lost oh yeah bro so uh, i watched the highlights so i'm, I'm involved this time right I'm involved this time yeah. so <sighs> yeah, yeah yeah um i watched highlights of all three 
Yeah, mm. they were good, right? Mm. They were good, the, right? The Poirier, Chan- Chop- did I not tell you? You'd... Did I not tell what? you that was going to be a war? Round one? <laughs> yes. I've never seen body blows like him. <laughs> Bro. They were gushing with blood. Yeah, so we'll get, anyway, yeah, we'll so, get to that. Um, Oh, let's talk about that. Then. Okay, so mm-hmm. UFC 281 was a week and a bit ago now. A week and a bit ago, yeah. Um, and yeah, so the main the main card was, um, or the fight of the night was... Stylebender. Uh, Stylebender, Israel Adesonia versus uh, Alex Pereira. And if, I can't remember if I spoke about it on a Patreon episode or I spoke about it on a YouTube episode, but um, the basic consensus was is that um, Starbender, it was the UFC middleweight world champion, right? Yeah. And he's been there for a while, and there's been a lot of people that have been trying to take the crown off him, and no one's managed to do it. Mm. Uh, and it was it wasn't looking like he smashed everyone in the division, mm. so there was it was looking like it was never going to happen. So his arch nemesis from his kickboxing days, Alex Pereira, um, had also transitioned into MMA and was climbing through the ranks fast. Mm. So. The UFC gave him a quick pass go, collect 200 pounds, little quick route to the top and gave <clears> him a, a title fight yeah. because they knew he would be trouble yeah. for Stylebender. And lo and behold, he was trouble he was. for him. He was. Um, five rounds of death, literally. Five rounds of war. Um, both of the guys were a little bit like hesitant. Mm. Um, and one thing I told you as well, so... Um, Obviously, Stylebender rarely uses his jiu-jitsu or his grappling. Okay. okay. Um, and I think it was in the second round, maybe, or the third, or maybe even the first. Alex took him down. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you could tell Stylebender was like, say less. Mm-hmm. You want to do floor yeah, work? Yeah, yeah, You want to yeah, do yeah, what floor yeah, work? Yeah, 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 Say less. So then there was another one where he tried to take him down, reversed it, mm-hmm. took Alex down. Alex gave him his back. He literally took his back and was just wailing into his face. So you could tell Alex is not about it on the ground. Okay. It's not about it on the ground. Um, but so there's a little bit of controversy which has kind of been squashed now but basically there is a narrative that people are saying that the the fight got stopped too early i kind of saw that towards the end yeah so um starbender was winning the fight Mm -hmm. up until the last round Mm -hmm. he was winning the fight so in order for alex to win this fight and become champion he needed to knock starbender out Mm -hmm. and lo and behold in the fifth round, he rocked his jaw. Yeah, Got him against yeah, the yeah, fence, yeah, 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 rocked yeah. his jaw. He was, and Izzy yeah, was all over yeah, the place. Yeah. But he was conscious enough to keep bobbing and yeah. weaving. He wasn't just laying there getting smashed, but he was getting smashed yeah, up. he was. And the, the ref stopped him when he wasn't unconscious. Mm-hmm. He wasn't flawed. Mm. He wasn't, but his eyes were spinning. Spe- yeah. That was clear as day. Yeah, yeah, his yeah, yeah, eyes yeah. were spinning. Mm-hmm. But in, in Izzy's defense, he was down, but he was still moving. Yeah. His arms were still up. Yep. He wasn't like yep. out here. And his argument was, is that same referee was the referee of a fight that he had. I think this was the fight he got the belt, actually. Okay. Uh, a bit <clears throat> against Kelvin Gastelum. Okay. And that was a war. I swear. That was a war. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Both of them got knocked down in that fight. I swear. And Gastelum got knocked down like five or six times. He oh. got rocked and somehow managed to keep getting up. And that Fair same ref... Way. And then when it's basically, um, Starbird's argument was like, this is the same ref that let Homeboy get put on his ass mm, like five times because this is a title yeah, fight yeah, yeah, and you need yeah. to go out on your shield. Yeah, okay. But the same ref is telling me that this fight's over mm. when I'm still here with my arms yeah, up and I'm, just, I'm bopping. And he was like, this is done. Done. In his and, face, but yeah, yeah, and then like, so I can sympathize with Starbender. Starbender's <laughs> not saying if, Starbender's not necessarily saying I was gonna make it, mm-hmm. but he was basically like, let me find <clears> out if I was gonna yeah. make it. Because I'm not on the floor. Yeah. I'm not like arms down, don't yeah. know what's going on. My arms are up. I'm moving my head. I'm still here. I'm about. I'm still here. He's don't touch look, me up, but yeah, I'm about. Don't look at my eyeballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll yeah. tell you lies. Yeah, they'll tell you they'll tales. tell you I'm unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But look at my, my posture and everything yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. And you are the kind of ref that we looked for in that last fight where you were just letting homeboy carry on, carry mm. on, carry on after I put him on his ass bare times. Mm. Um, but that was it. <sighs> I think they're going to have a rematch. Well, they, they have to have they, a rematch. I saw a... Um, he went on um, the Flagrant Pod afterwards. Uh, he did go on the Flagrant yeah, Pod. So I haven't I, listened to it yet, but yeah. I, I watched it, um, actually. We'll get back to that specific topic. The tee he wore, it was like... It, you know, obviously he loves... Well, not you know. Obviously you know, but the people might not know. He loves um, anime, anime. narrative, blah, blah, blah. He wore the dirtiest narrative top. Swear. It was like... I think it was... Um, 
It said hidden, but I couldn't see what it said at the bottom. Mm. But it, it was Naruto holding um, the NBA uh, trophy like Jordan did oh, when he won swear. the when he won the treble. Or you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was it was that, and it, it looked buff. Oh, and say less. The most annoying thing about it, I went through the comments on YouTube and I went through the comments on his Instagram because he posted a pic of him wearing that tee as well. Everyone was talking about, oh, you're a true gent, blah, blah, because he's, he's, he doesn't wa- um, wallow in his like, failure. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's very, very super humble. open about yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone said, oh, you're the champ, you're still the champ, blah, blah, coming through. No one was focusing on the shirt. <laughs> Where's the shirt from? Do you know what I mean? No yeah, one was yeah, focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, it made me think about, do you know what's crazy? It made me think about, you know, when you see a baddie in a group picture, Bro? and you think, Where's that at? Where is, where, where is where, that at? Where is the motherfucking at? Then you find that one person that has, oh, her at is girl in the green dress yeah. at yeah, XYZ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, you're a rider. Like, you're a rider. You think like me and there needs to be more people like you in this world. Because this is all we care That's about. That's all I cared about <laughs> was that shirt. Where did you get that shirt from? And nobody was focused. Oh, I was livid. Allow it, bro. That will piss me off. That will piss me but off. anyway, yeah, sorry. Um, so he went on the flagrant party. He went on the flagrant party. He was talking about how in the s- either the first or second round, he kicked him in like the back of his um, ankle here. Yeah, he said his like perineal, perineal nerve or nerve, whatever was like gone. This. Yeah, so he said from then, his footwork wasn't was what it used to yeah, be yeah, yeah. or what it normally were, is. He rather, so. dragging. Yeah, um, so that's obviously not an excuse to the reason why he, he thinks he lost, but he said it was a factor. But he was going on, obviously you could, um, when you listen to it, you'll see how so humble he was about it. Like he just, he, not like he didn't care, but he's like, he's had many other disappointments or greater disappointments in his life. Mm. It was just so refreshing to see that. Yeah, I've you know? seen, um, I've, I've seen a, a few little like bits here and there of him mm. just like commentating and just saying, look, man, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, like he still says about the, I still think they should have let it go on a little bit longer. Yeah. But he's not saying, um, yeah, he's saying that I should have let it go on a little bit longer in my opinion. But at mm. the end of the day, a loss is a loss is a loss. Mm, and... Mm, mm. We'll have to chalk it up to the next one. But yeah, he's like, bro, this is it. This is, this is the game we play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to lose. And I saw um, he got sent something from Muhammad Ali's team. Oh, okay. The other day, he got sent like uh, this like comparison pick thing of like Ali like with an Afro pick in his hair. Okay. And Stylebender with an Afro pick in his hair. Okay. And Ali doing something else. Stylebender doing the same oh, thing kind cool. of thing. And it basically said just like... Um, <clears throat> The, the losses are the most important thing. That's cool. Yeah, this is like, the losses, cool. the losses are everything. And it's just like a sick Muhammad Ali quote. Mm. Um, and I was like, that's gang. That's mm. very, very cool. And like, I'm excited for them to fight again. Mm. But <laughs> here's the thing, right? Alex Pereira is like a horrible matchup for Starbender. Okay. A horrible matchup. And I think, and in that fight as well, Alex was very reserved. Mm. They were both reserved, but mm. Alex was also very reserved mm. because this is, the first time he's had to do five rounds. Alex. Alex. It's the okay. first time he's... Stop has been doing five rounds for time okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. But only the champions do five rounds. Okay. Everyone else does three. Oh, only the that. championship I fights you do that. five okay, rounds. Okay, so this okay. is his first time at five rounds. Oh, so it no. would have been very normal for his coaches to be like, hold, hold back. Hold back, yeah. Because this guy's going to want to scrap you. Yeah. If you fall into that, you're yeah. going to be knackered. Yeah. And he's been here before. Yeah. He stayed in this, yeah, in this yeah, cut. Yeah. You don't know what it's like up here. Okay. So just hold back. So now he knows what five rounds is like. Mm. There's nothing to say that like next time he might just come out guns blazing yeah. and it could be even worse for yeah. Starbender. So I'm interested to see what they do. Um, I'm interested to see what he changes. I would love for Starbender to just be like, I'm going to wrestle the tits off of him mm. because we, I had him up on the floor and he couldn't do anything. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to go for takedown, for takedown, for takedown. But it's always a case of like, in the moment, people will always resort back to their basic training. Yes, of course. And his will. basic training is kickboxing. <clears throat> yeah. And he's always gonna go back in the in the tough moments, mm. he ain't gonna shoot for a double leg takedown. Yeah. He's gonna wanna go for his his training yeah. and go for that. And kick you in the temple. Bro, and on top of that, he's um I'm pretty sure as far as middleweight goes, he's mm. the tallest guy. He's taller than Starbender. Yeah, oh, oh Alex oh, is taller oh, than Starbender. Because oh, um Starbender's like six four now. Yeah, he's not... tall, bro. Oh. Alex is taller than him. Oh shit. Um and Alex is like naturally way bigger yeah, than him. He he's is. a natural light heavyweight. Yeah, I don't even yeah. know what he's doing in middleweight. Yeah, yeah, he's a natural yeah. light heavyweight. Mm. And I wouldn't be surprised if he starts going up and challenging mm. for the light heavyweight titles. Um, and it's so annoying as well. I don't see him being champ. If, if they have the rematch mm-hmm. and Starbender loses again, mm-hmm. it's going to be a massive disappointment because all that's going to happen is so he can't mess with anyone on the ground. Alex can't. 
Okay. He can't mess with anyone on, on the ground. Okay. And the top five um, in the middleweight div- division are disgraceful wrestlers. Okay. Disgraceful wrestlers. Okay. So you can see now that they've seen that he's fought Starbender because yeah. as long as Starbender's king, mm. he's beat every single one yeah, of these men and they've yeah, not yeah. come close to beating him. Okay. Now they've seen... Alex is so dog shit on oh, the floor. Man. All of them are going be thinking, Challenge. I can't fucking wait to fight this bread. Yeah, I can't yeah, wait yeah. to fight this bread because I'm taking him out. It's a wrap. Yeah, yeah, he can't, yeah. he's he going to be able to do nothing. Yeah. This kickboxing ain't going to be shit. Mm. He's not going to be able to do nothing. Mm-hmm. And then the whole cycle is going to change. Mm. And it's, it's, it's annoying that it, you can just play the matchups like that. Mm-hmm. It's just like, I can be the champion, champion, champion. You bring me one bread who is better at me than what I do, mm-hmm. but is way worse at the stuff that I don't do. And the stuff that I don't do is what's kept me champion. Mm. Me being okay at wrestling has the, it's been the sole reason why I've been champion all okay, this time. Okay. And the fact that he's shit at wrestling, but is just better at kickboxing, every single person I've beat is going to come up and smack him. Yeah. And then I'm going to have to start here yeah. and then work my way up again mm. to take the belt off the bread that I've already beat yeah, time yeah, ago. Yeah. Easily. He, he said in the, I'm um, sorry to keep going about the flagrant, but he said on, on that um, pod that even if that does occur, i.e., um, Pereira fights someone else, or someone challenges Pereira first before he does, because he said he said he might um, he might do surgery. Or something happened to his knee or whatever. Yeah. So he said he might do that. So if he's like recovering and stuff, and Pereira fights someone else in the interim, and Pereira loses, um, Stylebender said he still wants to fight Pereira. That's what he said. I believe that's, that's what he said. But I feel like at the time you would say that. I feel like at the time you're heated yeah, and yeah, all this yeah, stuff, yeah. and you realize I was winning, bro. I was yeah, winning. Yeah, I was yeah, winning. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's like. I wouldn't recommend it. Mm. I just wouldn't recommend it because Starbenders, everything that Starbenders advan- advantages have been, he negates all of them. Mm. Um, he's taller than him. Mm. His, his reach has been a massive factor in his like championship. Okay. His, like, his reach and his, his height mm-hmm. have been like massive factors in terms of why he's such a good yeah, middleweight yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. And Alex is bigger and be- like he's bigger than him. He's taller than him. His reach is longer than him. Um, he's stronger than him. <laughs> This reminds me of, remember that Jaden, Jaden Smith and Justin Bieber song? Well, I can't remember what the song is called, but we say, he's bigger than me, taller than me, <laughs> he's stronger than me. <laughs> As you were saying it, that's bro, what was that's playing dark. in my head. I can't remember what bro, the song is called in my life. Fam, he's a physical specimen, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, he's yeah, bigger yeah, yeah. than you, stronger than you, <laughs> and he is potentially a better kickboxer than you. Mm. So it's just not worth it. Okay. It's just not worth it. Okay. Play to be the champion, but I know Stylebender is more than a UFC fighter. He's a martial arts purist mm. and he only cares about being the best. Okay. Which is what I have to rate him. He's not going to play okay. the safe thing. Okay. He only cares about being the best. Yeah. Best. Whoever beat him, he needs to prove to everyone mm. that he will beat him mm. before he continues his reign as yeah, champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has to. Mm. And like... I'm happy he has that mentality, but also uh, as a fan of him, you just want what's best for him. Yeah. And what's best for him is to steer clear of this prayer, mm. let him lose to another prayer, mm. and then just fuck off whoever took his crown. Take your fair crown enough. back and then just not, let's not entertain this anymore. Fair enough, fair enough. But hey ho. Um, yeah. And then on top of that, the Poirier yeah, Michael the Chandler, Chandler fight. Yeah, that. I was supr- it was crazy because um, obviously I didn't watch it live. I watched three separate uh, YouTube highlight videos yeah, yeah, yeah. of that one, and I can't remember the the two ladies that fought as well prior. Oh, um, I saw um, that one as well. Whaley. Yeah, I saw that. But I, what I watched the two ladies fight, then um, Chandler fight, and then the Pereira fight. Mm. So when I was watching the Chandler fight uh, and Poirier, I was thinking, how is this not the, the main card? The main bro, bro. I told you it's gonna be a war. Wow. As soon as, fam, I remember, as soon as I looked at my phone, because yeah. I didn't even know these men yeah, were yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I looked at my phone and I saw that matchup, I was like, Jesus yeah. Christ. Fam, it was blow after yeah, blow yeah, after yeah. blow. Bro, they I were said, going Jesus at it. Christ. They're both like 5'9, five, 5'10 five, and yeah. stocky. Short Kings. Stocky. Oh, they were fighting, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Wow. The one thing I will say um, that not enough people give him credit for mm. is Michael Port. Dustin Poirier's. Dustin calmness mm. and focus mm. in those incredibly heated situations yeah. is insane mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. is insane because michael Chandler was throwing, throwing everything at him everything yeah everything yeah, at him yeah and he would always stay focused mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he'll get them straight shot yeah michael's throwing everything, everything. and he'll just be there bang bang mm. bang and just still bang straight 
bang, and he just focused. Yeah. He never loses his temper, yeah. never loses his cool, bro. Mm. And Michael Chandler can wrestle. Mm. He can wrestle. And then Dustin caught him in a rear naked choke to finish yeah, the fight. Yeah, yeah, Say, yeah. Less. <laughs> Say less. Say less. It was, uh, it was um, a really good fight. Bro, yeah. But did you see... Um, this is one thing I would have tapped out. Promise you, I wouldn't have won this fight if I was Dustin Poirier because when I was on my back mm -hmm. and homeboy's nose was spilling but in my face. James! And he was his, like... <laughs> yeah, fam. He was breathing it all in his face. Dirty little bastard. Yeah, was he like, was breathing yeah, all yeah. his blood in his face and I would have been like, yo, 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 Technical. Yo, 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 Technical. You, you win, you win, you win, you win, you win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because win. this Cause can't I, run. I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tasting hemoglobin. That's yeah. not mine. <laughs> And that's disgusting. I'm tasting iron. Yeah, it's just, just pure the, yeah. iron. It's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. Get off me. Get yeah, off yeah. me. Get the fuck off me. Yeah, I would have screamed it. Yeah. Get off me. I would have screamed it. Tell the referee to stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that was Get wow. off me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was to, dirty. He had to tap in. Oh, he, he had, had to, to focus, tap bro. In. Promise you now. People would lose all respect for me as a fighter. Because mm. when I'm doing the after commentary, yeah. they'll be like, what happened? Yeah. They'll be like, you saw you what happened. You saw it. There was blood yeah. dripping from his nose into my mouth. Damn, there was clumps of his brain falling <laughs> out into my face. I, of course I'm tapping Yeah, do out. I look like Jeffrey Dahmer to you, bro? I'm not dealing with that. I'm not eating that. I just want to fight. I, that's all I'm here for. Yeah, yeah I want to fight. No yeah. one said anything about pouring blood into my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Like on some ritual <laughs> thing. Fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap out. Facts. We'll run it back. Yeah, yeah, knock yeah. me down as far in the rankings yeah. as you need to knock me. But we can run it back. And we'll run it back next time because I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. I've got kids, bro. Yeah, bro, it was wild. Yeah. That was wild. I yeah, that was, that. that was disgraceful stuff. That. Disgraceful that was a, stuff. That was a, that was but a yeah, scrap. That whole card was a scrap. Okay, guys, you already know what it is. It is time to pay the bills. We have lots of lights to keep on. And the best way to do it is to inform you guys mm. about the groundbreaking boys and girls over at Manscaped. Okay, Facts. guys? So if you think your holiday spread is good, <laughs> it's time to give thanks to the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0, or as I like to call it, the perfect package for your package. Mm -hmm. Okay, the perfect package for your package. Facts. All right? So inside, you're going to find their Lorma 4.0 trimmer, Mm. The Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. Else? The Crop Preserver <coughs> Ball em. Deodorant. Tell them. Crop Reviver Toner. What else? And Performance Boxer Brief. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, I'm wearing Come. the boxes right now. Best boxes Say in the less. Game. They're soft, soft, smooth, smooth. <laughs> on and off at the blink of an eye. Millisecond. Fap, fap. Fap, fap. <laughs> Okay, guys, so, right, if you want to get involved, like us, okay? So mm. this is the thing. People message me all the time. I'm like, oh, you see that mask thing? Do you actually use it? Like, do you actually use it, brother? Yes, bro. I stay using it. Stay. I stay, I stay using it. The other day, I thought my charger was broken, and I nearly had a panic attack. <laughs> I stay using. Also, it wasn't broken because it's from Manscaped. Yeah, hey, come on. Come on, man. Come on. It's top of the line. Come so, on. guys, uh, if you want to get involved, if you want to jump on the bandwagon with us, all you need to do is head on over to Manscaped dot com and use the code s n g sierra november golf to get yourself 20 percent off and free shipping worldwide thank you for listening let's get back to the episode Dang. scrap really yeah. really really good and also i didn't because obviously we spoke about it whether it was the patreon or youtube i can't remember and you said it was at like sunday whatever but at like 3 a.m or yeah whatever. i thought it was monday so at 3 a.m my yeah, brain yeah, thought yeah, monday yeah. 3 a.m so i was waiting but because when i woke up on sunday thinking oh the thing's tonight I was seeing bear yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. thinking, how are these not predicting stuff already? Yeah. I was seeing bears. I saw it on YouTube. I saw it on Twitter. I, saw it. I was thinking, fuck, I missed the whole take. Bro, I, I was vexed take. as well because I actually forgot about it. Mm. I knew I was going to watch the highlights the mm. next day or the match the next day. And, um, <laughs> you know, the Mourinho meme with the headset. Oh. Just like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that yeah, was yeah. me because I naturally opened... Uh, I literally found, I opened my Instagram yeah. and the first thing on there was House of Highlights with Alex Pereira busting my boy's yeah, chin yeah. and it said, and new. new yeah. And I was like, Marina, ah! Fuck no, I love my phone. I was, fuck! Fuck! The first thing you wake up to. First thing. Fuck this, yeah. I was like, nah, bro. Oh, it's tough. Not my boy. It's tough. Because I knew he gave it his all. Yeah, rags, 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 rags. And I was so even, I was even more gutted for him when I actually watched the fight and thought, this guy's winning. Mm. This guy's mm -hmm. winning. Mm -hmm. He was doing bits in the first four. He was doing bits in the first four. And he would have been so gassed to win that fight yeah, for you, I can imagine. I can you feel like he's your boy. Yeah, yeah. I can he would have yeah, been just yeah, knowing yeah, how yeah, gassed yeah. he would have been to win that. It's crazy that you say that you feel like he's your boy because in the, um, in the interview you did with Flagrant Pod, 
um, and he said a lot of people were asking him uh, or saying to him, oh, sorry about that, or how do you feel and blah, blah. He's like, I'm cool. I've had bag of disappointments in my life. Trust me, this is the least of my work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah, along yeah. those yeah, lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Schultz was like, um, I feel like the reason why people, oh no, and then um, Israel was like, oh, maybe because be, if, if they were in my shoes, they're probably thinking about how they would feel if they were in my shoes. And he started getting a bit defensive saying that, oh, well, they wouldn't even be in my shoes anyway, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. then um, Schultz stopped him and be like, I feel like the reason why people were are asking you how you feel and probably depending on you or whatever is because you're a consistency in their life. Literally. Every, every time they see your name in a card, they know you're going to show up. I, my life could be a wreck. But I know when I see, when I watch UFC next Sunday and you're, you're fighting, I know you're going to win. And I... You're I, talking I, about I re- me. I rely on that. Fam, you're talking yeah. about me. Yeah, so that's, I was like, wow. Yeah. I rely on these yeah, dubs. I rely on that. Which is the first, this is the first UFC fight I've ever won where I, I, go, I was nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. nervous, yeah. bro, because I was like, there's a very, very, very good chance he'll lose this. Mm. A very good, and I just can't see it. Yeah. Because he is my rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's my rock. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. This Brett fictionally wrote someone's name in a death note. That's crazy. That's crazy. I remember, he, actually, I think I saw fam, that. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. come in before and like done a, yeah, a Chidori. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah, done all yeah, sorts. Yeah, yeah. He's Gapoon. the guy, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, the yeah. guy, bro. And it's like, when you watch it and you're like, oh no, he might lose this. Mm. And then you think, you watch the fight, he's like, no, nah, he's winning. He's actually mm. winning. He's going to mm. fucking win. Yeah. He's going to fucking win. Mm. He's actually going to win. He's unstoppable, bro. Mm. Last round, homeboy comes out and just says, yeah, bah, bah. Yeah. 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 He rocked I'm king now. Yeah. I'm king now. Rocked him. Mine. I need Please. it. Speak. And then you have to be like, and then yeah, literally, not even a case of literally exactly. Andrew Schultz can be very intellectual sometimes, mm. and that is a spot on. Is not even. I don't feel bad for him mm. because I think that's how I would feel in his shoes mm. at all. Mm. I feel bad because literally, I rely on him to win fights mm-hmm. to make me feel good. Yeah, because I my life is so inconsistent that he's the only constant. He's thing a in my constant life. and. Like he's come against so many different people, mm. all of which people are like, I think this might be it. Mm. I think this might be it. Mm. I think this might be it. And he smacks them up every single time. And he, not only does he smack them up, he makes them look stupid. Stu- bro, like fucking Liverpool last season. Everyone was betting against them. But they won every, almost every game. Man yeah, City yeah. most season, they're winning every bro, game. Like, he's the constant. Yeah. And then when, when, you, when you see people like, I, you, you heard me, bro. I was getting angry at the flipping at Dana for thinking for giving him the shortcut to the title oh, fight. Yeah, like, you did. That was I'm weeks thinking, ago. Yeah. Hey, you man are a weapon formed yeah, against him. Yeah, yeah. You're not on our side. Ago. Yeah, yeah. It's me and Starbender against <laughs> you, man. You man are ops. <laughs> you man are ops. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's yeah, me yeah. and Starbender against you, man. Yeah, you man yeah. are literally ops. ops. Like, what are you facts, doing, bro? Facts. What are you doing? This is my guy. This is my guy. This what are you trying to Why are you trying to do this on purpose, bro? What are you doing, bro? Um so yeah, fam. Like, yeah. But anyway. It happens. It is what it is. Moving on. Um, But I know I've stayed as far away from this topic as humanly possible, but I know you want to talk about it. Oh, my boy Cristiano Ronaldo. Your boy Ronaldo was running his gums. Do you know the smart thing about um, Piers Morgan? Mm. I don't really necessarily have any um, opinions on the guy himself. Yeah. Um, But... Obviously, everyone has seen the clips that he put out for this. Have you seen the, the clips he put out for, the, for this interview at all? Oh, I've seen little bits and bobs. Yeah. So I can't remember, I can't remember what the clips were, but it was one of those ones where he said the, the interview is going to be a two-parter. Oh, okay. So he played it smart. Oh. He played it so smart because everything in episode one, which I watched yesterday at yours, was so light. Oh, okay. So everything, all the clips we've seen that, that on socials, like on Monday or whatever... Our clips from episode two. Do you know what I mean? Say less. So everything. So it started off with him talking about um, his return to United. Um, I'm sure most people know he had a uh, he had a death in his family. One mm. of his um, one of his babies was stillborn, I believe. So they were talking about things like that. Talking about um, Georgina, his missus. Talking about um, some of his ex colleagues, i.e., Wayne Rooney and um, Gary Neville. Gary Neville. Yeah. Not yeah, yeah not really showing him the support and love that he thought they would give him. What, um, for coming back? Not even necessarily oh, just for coming for, like, back. For, for stuff same, in his for, life yeah, and for stuff, stuff like that. For yeah, stuff yeah, happening, yeah, yeah, yeah. For stuff happening on and off the pitch. And it's like, these, he said, like, these were my boys. Like, I, I trained with them. I played with them, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, why, why would they treat me like this kind of thing? So it's one of those ones where, because I've not seen um, episode two, I can't really go deep into the matter. But 
it's also one of those ones where you see, you see, you do see Ronaldo in a different light because um, I've never seen a Ronaldo interview before. Anyway. Yeah, neither I don't have think I. Most, well, unless you're like a diehard, 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 you would have probably seen something like on in different um, different media and stuff. But I've never seen a Ronaldo interview ever, um, and it's one of those ones where you see like he's he commands respect because he gives respect mm, mm, mm. and he will talk to you honestly and truthfully about how he's feeling because he's a human being, not yeah, necessarily yeah. because it's an egotistical thing. Yeah, Do you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Granted, he is the most famous person in the world. Yeah. Granted, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. one of the richest people in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Granted, he's one of, uh, arguably the best player in the world. Yeah, Do you know yeah. what I mean? These are three major pillars to have, but he's also still a very, very humble person. Don't get me wrong. The things that um, have come out in, well, by the time this is out, the second episode will be out, but I've not seen mm, it yet. Mm, but mm. the things that have come out, um, the clips that have, were shown for the second episode, it's like, you can't, you can't say these things whilst you're still at the club. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Bro. Like when we spoke a few weeks ago, when I said to you, we were tucking in Tottenham 2-0 and we had one of the best games we've played. Not in terms of just the scoreline, but the stats, the yeah, way yeah, we yeah, played, yeah, 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 the yeah. atmosphere. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. in Old Trafford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like the 87 minute, he walked out of the tunnel. He walked down the tunnel, I remember you told went me. to the changing room, yeah. got in his car and left. He left, Mad. he left OT before the players got back to the changing room. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, I understand you say all these things about, um, well, he doesn't say he's not egotistical, but you, the way he carries himself, sometimes you may believe he's not egotistical, but also like that, is not acceptable. Yeah, it's not respectful. That's not respectful. Yeah, if we're going to talk respect, acceptable. Yeah, yeah, that's that's our order. Yeah, I don't yeah, care yeah. who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not respectable at all, and it's not acceptable. In the whip, bro. He, didn't even wait in the changing bro, room. Bro, he got his stuff and dipped. Yeah, nah, dipped. Nah. But on the backside of that, the reason why he said he did that was because I think the week before or a couple of weeks before, that's when we played City and we got tucked in six three. We played Tottenham. I think that same week or the week after, we beat him two 0 But. Um, Ralph, not Ralph Rangnick, fucking hell. Eric Ten Hagen wanted to only put him on um, at like the 85th minute, Ronaldo. And it's like, you say, he said that, um, when I say he, sorry, I mean Ronaldo said, um, Eric Ten Hagen said he didn't put him on the pitch for the City game because out of respect, we were, we were like 6'3 or whatever. Let me not disrespect him by putting him on like, it's what, what for? Yeah, 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 yeah. But then the same um, Eric Ten Hagen is putting him on, we're 2-0 up and it's 85 minutes and you're putting on Ronaldo. Like, what? You should have put me on a half time or started me. Do you know what I mean? So I can understand <clears throat> that dynamic, but there are certain things that just shouldn't be done. And obviously the main, I feel like the main catalyst for him doing this interview was um, about his, um, his daughter passing away. And he said he went to the um, United board and, then the, and the, um, whoever like runs it and stuff. And obviously Eric as well saying... Um, Oh, X, Y, and Z. I need some time off. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and they said he didn't believe him. That by, the what? They, they, just the way, not word for word, they said they didn't believe him, but it's, it was, it's basically what he said. Do you know Swear. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Not, not, no, 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 not, not the fact that she passed away because we all know she passed away. Not that, but the way they handled the situation because he wanted time off. He didn't, pre, he didn't train preseason with us. I was thinking, why is he not training preseason? Mm -hmm. But then I was thinking... Does he need to train for you? Yeah. He's just, no, he banged 18 goals last year. Let him chill. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Let him chill. But needless to say, we had new, new, we had new players and we had a new, uh, we had a new coach. So yeah, yeah. And granted, he, he should have trained. You yeah, know, yeah, but yeah, 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 we didn't yeah, know yeah. the ins and outs of yeah, that. Yeah, we yeah, were just yeah. thinking he's being stubborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or being egotistical. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's one of those ones where if I was in his shoes and I went to the board of directors of uh, Manuel, any football club or any team or whatever, and I say, yo, I'm having a terrible crisis in my family life right now. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to need some time. Mm. And the response he gets is somewhat similar to uh, like a shrug on the shoulders, I don't believe you kind of thing. That's disrespectful. So that's the, re I feel like that was the catalyst for him to do this because it involved, mm. it wasn't just about him. It was about, his, obviously yeah, he's yeah, a yeah, family yeah. oriented Plus, guy. Plus like, I always like to think like, you need to judge until they prove you wrong. Yeah. You should always judge people based on their merits. Factual. So like if I like, I'm Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah. bro. The name alone. Yeah. The name yeah. alone is just like, if I tell you I can't train yeah. and I can't be here, yeah. you should think, hmm, one of the greatest players of all time says, and one of the most passionate people I've ever met says he needs to go. Bro. I'm not even asking any questions. Go. Because he's the first one to turn up a training. He's the last one to leave all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can tell it's not, he's not gassing. Yeah, rags. He's not gassing. Rags. 
listen to what I have to say. Do you know what I mean? So I feel, but I think it was because um, he did that um, that tunnel thing with mm. that, um, at Tottenham, and he, he did something else. I can't remember what he did. Um, that obviously stirred him up in the media again. So after those after those two things, and then for him to try and say I need some time off or whatever because um, he had family issues and stuff, and he said he didn't believe him. I feel like that was the last straw for him. Yeah. Um, so I can. I can understand the reasonings behind, again, I've not seen the second episode or the second part of the um, episode, but I can understand the reasons behind his frustration and wanting to speak his truth. Mm -mm. But I think personally, he should have done it. He should have left United and then done the interview. Oh, 100. Because it's done now. Oh, he can never come back. But he's also done it at a really good time because we have this um, mid-break because of the World Cup. Mm. Gassed, by the way. (laughs) Out fucking way. (laughs) Gassed, by the way. We'll talk about that in a second. Yeah. Um, So, yeah. He's kind of done it at a time where he knows after this interview, he doesn't need to speak to United again. Mm. Because for a fact, they're going to let me go. Or I'm going to leave. He's been fined a million pounds, but that's nothing to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But then he can focus solely on Portugal and the World Cup. Can't. And then whatever he does after that in December. Also, is quick pause, sorry yeah. to cut you off. If I know I'm getting booted, I'm not giving you a million pounds. Even if it is nothing to me. I don't care. Uh, he, would, he would go to court. I don't fine him. I don't care. <laughs> you would just keep getting I'll, fines and I'll fines and fines. i say fines. what I want. <laughs> when I want. do what I want. <laughs> say less. If I want to keep playing for you, then yeah, I'll, I'll give you the million. But if I know I'm not playing for you, I'll do what I want. Say less. Um, because Portugal... The president of Portugal will do something about it. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I yeah, mean? Because yeah. he needs me in yeah, there. Yeah, 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 he yeah, yeah. He needs me in the there. The airport is named after me. I've got the a museum. Airport, fam, I've got a museum in there. And just what my World Cup shirt sales are going to do for our economy yeah, alone, alone. You're going to need me in yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm telling you now, you're not getting a million from me because I'll say what I want to who I want when I want. <laughs> Because I know I'm not playing for you anymore. Yeah. I don't need you, man, anymore. Chris Jonathan Alder. Yeah, so take me to court. Yeah. Because I promise you, Donnie's going to come in on a plane and sort something out. Sort out, out yeah. Because I'll bell him and be like, these men are saying I can't play football. Period. For you or for anyone. <laughs> but spe- they, I heard they said especially <laughs> for you. Portugal. Yeah, they said the, the last... The, uh, the, <laughs> the judge said backstage, <laughs> the last place he's playing is Portugal. Yeah. I heard him say it. <laughs> All these men are ops. Please, yeah, do, do something. something. Do something. Do something. He'll be like, fuck. Say, say less. less. He's on a jet that, that night. I'll be there in 10. <laughs> I'll be there in 10. That night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete, My Pete. boy. Nah, never, 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 never. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching um, the second half of the episode or the second half of the interview. Um, it should be very eye-opening considering the whole controversy about him. But Pace Morgan asks frustrating questions he does he does but he, he also knows what he's doing he like, knows what he's doing but yeah he, he asks really like antagonizing questions yeah. like real leading like I, uh, the, one of the few clips i did see was him about like with the when um ronaldo's talking about like rooney and neville yes and then and he's talking on uh, he's talking on like a heartfelt thing yes like, these are my boys we train together yeah, with yeah, this together yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. and he's like do you also think they're jealous because you're still playing and they're not yeah. playing? And it's like, that's such an yeah, irrelevant question. But he has to answer. And, but he, he, answers, answers like, and he answered and he was like, yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Wait, no, no, just yeah, say no. <laughs> just say no. They had a flourishing career. Yeah. I'm sure they're fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're doing just yeah, fine. I forgot about that bit. Yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. that. I was like, you're a waste, man, he bro. He does do that. He, his views, isn't it? He, yeah, he, he, all he cares about yeah, is the views. Piers knows what he's doing. He yeah, knows yeah, what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that leads me on to a show recommendation I want to talk to you about. Say less. It is called FIFA Uncovered. Okay. Wow. Oh. What, have you seen it? Wow. Swear? Yeah. So FIFA Uncovered is just, a, is basically about how they started FIFA. I think it started in like 1904, something like that, or 1917, something like that. And um, they, they wanted to plan how they can do like obviously international games and this, that, and the other and get the whole world to know about football and stuff. Um, so basically it's about Seb Platter's, Seb Blatter's life. He's the ex FIFA president. Mm-hmm. Uh, he got sacked a few years ago. But so it started off with the English brother. He was the um, president at the time, like back a day. I can't remember when it was. And then there was a Brazilian brother called Joao. I can't remember his surname. Joao something. Um, and Seb was his understudy at the time. Mm. So at that time, I think they were gearing up to the 1974 or 1978 World Cup, which was in Argentina at the time. And in Argentina at the time, 
they were living in a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A dictatorship. So it, oh. it wasn't the best place to do anything. Okay. And yeah, the president at the time was on stuff. He was mm. on some fuckery. Also, uh, if you say at the time one more time, I'm leaving the podcast. At the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, you just, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Go, 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 go. Thought, Argentina sake. dictatorship, not yeah, the place yeah, to yeah, be. Yeah, 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 go. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, fuck's sake. Um... So yeah, um, Joao, Joao still um, did the World Cup in Argentina, but he wanted to get sponsors and everything around it. So they got Coca-Cola and they got um, Adidas. That's how everything started booming. That's how everything, that's how all the money started to go mm. into FIFA. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And there was a time where, um, I think it was, it could have been Coca-Cola, it could have been, I can't remember who it was, but they had paid uh, Joao, the FIFA president at the time, um, I think it was like a million pounds or dollars or whatever it was, but it wasn't for anything. It was a bribe. Obviously. Oh, okay. I think it could have been some, uh, the Argentinian president. I can't remember. I can't remember. But Seb clocked it and he kept Storm. And it was like, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this as ammo because he was, I think it was like the general secretary. He's like an understudy. He's one position down from the president. Um, and he was like, I'm going to use this because I can't be the general secretary for the rest of my life. I want to be the FIFA president. Mm. I want to be the FIFA president. So on a back door thing, it was like, I'm going to give you one more term. Then I want you to gracefully bow out because I've got this on you because I want to be president. So lo and behold, he announced in the next election type of thing um, or the next, um, when they, they announced the World Cup in 19, I can't remember, 1982, I can't remember what it was. He said, oh, I'm going to bow out. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, no, it was 1998, actually, because that's when Seb became uh, president. Um, so, yeah, he had that. But the interview backstage was like, I can't believe it. This is Seb to the interview. I can't believe it. He's been here for so long. I'm going to miss him. You know, he's my mentor. And he just snaked him. Bloody he hell. fucking snaked him. Yeah, yeah. But, um, so the whole thing is about how Seb's illustrious career went from, oh, the face of FIFA to borderline corruption, mm. just corruption. So how it works is obviously Europe is classed as UEFA in terms of the football. Yeah, world. Yeah. And there's like six others. There's obviously uh, North America, South America, uh, Asia and Africa. Um, but they're called different things. Like Africa's called CAF, Asia's called ACN or something like that. And there's CONCAN, some things, all these different ones. But all, every country has one vote to say where they want the World Cup to be. Mm -hmm. But all the government... So let's, say, let's use UEFA as an example. There's going, only going to be one or two representatives from UEFA at the FIFA exhibition... To vote. To vote. Yeah. So if, for example, I'm the, FIFA, I'm the UEFA president at the moment, um, or I'm the elect elected nominee to um, put the vote through... Yeah. I can rally all these men up in Europe and say, oh, we're going to vote for, let's say, for example, Germany to host the World, to host the World mm. Cup. And all these men pick Germany, pick Germany, pick Germany, pick Germany, pick Germany. And I'll say, okay, cool. This is Germany. But it's one of those ones where um, in, in like the islands, Caribbean and stuff, they've got more countries than mm. the rest of actual North America. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, they yeah. accumulate, I think, 40 countries because of the islands. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. have in, an individual vote and it's run... It's run by one breader and they all rally around him. I can't remember his name. They all rally around him and he bribes everyone. He wants all the, regardless of, regardless of whatever um, he said to one person, if another, per, another man has come with a better deal, he's snaking you. He's Swear. snaking you to get the, to get the pee. And Mad. this is how the World Cup situation was all, all rocky. So it kicked off properly in the news when, um, Russia got the World Cup instead of England. Well, not, not necessarily instead of England, but England were the front runners mm. of the 2018 World Cup. But Russia got it. And America were the front runners of the 2022 World Cup this year. But Qatar got it. And you're thinking, Qatar has no stadiums. Qatar, Qatar's infrastructure is, not, is nowhere near what America is. They, um, they don't even identify with football. It's going to be fucking... Like, do you know all these certain yeah, things? So yeah, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. why Qatar? So what's going on? So, but... That is, that is literally like the main, it's four episodes, but it dives so deep into how many people snake each other, how many people will do anything to stay in this, in these, in this four walls of FIFA. Mm. And oh, the corruption is insane, bro. Say less. The corruption bro. is insane. Okay. It's a documentary. Okay. Okay. Was it on? 
Netflix. Oh, sick. Okay. It's a documentary. Bro. All right. Cool. Say less. I think you, everyone needs to watch it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, All right. Okay. So okay. Good. Okay. 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 I'll, I'll check it out. But last thing I want to say, obviously, World Cup starting soon, guys. Um, let's let me know. Let's know in the comments who you're rooting for. If your country's in it, Nigeria's not in it. And I'm absolutely vexed about yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Um, Ghana tucked us in in like, a, in like a qualification game. I think it was, like, they didn't tuck us in. I think it was either 0-0 or 1-1. And we had to win to qualify. Um, so yeah, let us know who you're, who you're supporting. And if you think, and let us know who, you're gonna, who you think is going to win. We're going to talk about, oh, it's going to be a weekly basis thing. Calm. Yeah. All right, bet. Um, so just before we finish today, yeah. I have got a thread. Gang. So this one has been going around. You've probably definitely seen it. So this is just a quick one. It says, I want to hear the stories of how you found out you were getting cheated on. Okay. I think I've seen... That. I've seen something similar. I think I've bare seen Bare times. Okay. But this one had mm. me on the ropes. Bare people sent it to me. Okay. And it had me on the ropes. Okay. okay, 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 okay. So I want to hear the stories of how you found out you were getting cheated on. Okay. Right? <laughs> Bro, this one sweeted me. So, initial tweet. Girl... I found out in my dream. Oh, here we go. Fam, I found out here in my dream. Yeah, yeah. And I woke up the next day and described the girl to him and even told him the girl's name and he lied about it. And then I found out his ass is on FaceTime with the girl I described from my dream. What do you mean he lied about? Bro? It? Okay. Reply. <laughs> this one's sweet. Fam, the reply. The Powerball just hit two billion and you're wasting <laughs> that's so raven moments on niggas. <laughs> that's so Bro? raven moments. <laughs> Jokes. Hilarious. Jokes. Um, caveat. I'm pretty sure I saw someone win that Powerball. The two billion. The two billion. Yeah. Oh, two point, I think two point zero four. I think. Yeah. It was, yeah, 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 yeah. Like Ridiculous. Like yeah. Wow. Ridiculous. Wow. Ridiculous. Yeah. 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 Highest win ever. Yeah. 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 That's so raven moments. Bro. Yeah. This focus fo- literally focus. focus you're out here having dreams about getting cheated on <laughs> you could be making us money you could be making us money gang yeah 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 cool. I like that one. Oh, this one's just long yeah she, she had the baby and it was light skin with blue eyes and blonde hair obviously it's oh. a black bread it's just torment oh, I couldn't wow. live with that I could not live with that and the wow. thing is with me I'm so light that she would just lie to me forever yeah. what's, the, what's the title of the thread again how did you f- find out you got cheated on Wow, the baby. The came baby out just came out light, light blue, blue eyes, blonde eyes, hair. Blonde hair. I will look at. Her. <laughs> I'll look at her and I'll look at all the nurses in the room. Oh, fam, good for you in the hospital because we're testing blood today. Yeah. Oh, oh, rags. Turns, Perfect turns timing. Turns out we're testing DNA today. Perfect. Get whoever in here needs to come in here immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't yeah, say. Yeah. Oh, the, no, get him here. Yeah, oh, 100 percent. Get him here, fam. <laughs> Saw her text in a prayer in the reflection of her glasses. And when I said, what are you doing? She said nothing and locked her screen. I went through her phone when she fell asleep and found a text that said, I thought you said you had a gag reflex. Ah, bro. With a... I thought, I you, thought said you said you, you had, had a, a gag reflex. I had you choking yesterday. No, not only has he clocked his wife has been sucking another man's dick, but he's, he's physically read it. He and he's, saw, he saw it with his, his own his eyes. lips though after that. I thought you said you, you had, had a, a gag, gag reflex. And she was in the car texting him, smiling. Smile, I thought, wow. That's not a message I Bro, could read, James. Um, That's not a message I could read. I would rather see a message of her telling the next man I love you. Oh, what a million percent. Oh, see, I love you, heart. Take I yeah, can't yeah, yeah, read yeah. that message. <laughs> Brother. I thought, do you know the maddest thing? Imagine you then start thinking back, but I've deep throated my girl bag of times. And she, she firms it. You, fam, you start thinking, what's going on? I can't. I promise you, I can you would hear... Like, she would be woken up by the sound of my ribs cracking in my chest. <laughs> I can never read that message. I, I couldn't. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Yeah. That's the worst thing bro, I've same, ever heard. Same, 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 same. Same, 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 same. Um, oh, bro. Wow. Next one. Someone tagged us 
on IG on a meme that said, two of my followers have the same boyfriend. And she tagged the, sa- the two things. Wow. Two of my followers have the same boyfriend. And she added them. No, no, that's a fight. That's an uncalled for fight. Who, are you the referee? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? <laughs> the referee. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I was chilling. Bro, I, was I was literally minding my, minding my business, business, bro. And I see that notification. I was minding my business, bro. Two of my followers bro. have the same thing. Bro, wow. this one. This one sweeted me. My ex ghosted the girl he was cheating on me with. <laughs> Sorry. My ex ghosted the girl he was cheating on me with. Yeah. And she reported him missing. Fam reported him missing. Wow. She saw her own man just on milk cartons. Well, he's in the yard. I wouldn't know where to begin. <laughs> Bro, are you missing? I would. James, Is this I you? Would, are you missing? I, I wouldn't know. Who's putting this out there? <laughs> I wouldn't know where to begin. Yeah, where do they I'm think just, you've gone? Who I'm is just it? Frying. I'm yeah, frying up our lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. And my sighting has done that. Wow. Bro. Wow, that's treacherous. I went out of town for a school function for a week, mm. came back, and my best friend at the time sat me down immediately and said he felt so bad that he smashed and nutted in her face. And he didn't want me to kiss her because he'd feel even worse. <laughs> oh, bro. What's going on? Bro. What's going on? Bro. What's going on? That's, that's... A man said, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. Banged your girl, nutted, nutted on her face. Nutted on her face. And I can't sit here and watch you lips her up. I just, I just physically can't. We're boys, remember? We're boys. I physically can't just sit here and watch that. I think I would do 25 to life. Oh, I would be doing yeah. 25 to life. Because I'm stabbing more than one person. Bro? Disgusting. Right, last one. Mm. He wanted to deactivate his Instagram account. But to do that, you had to sign in on the website. So he gave me his login to do it on my laptop. When I logged in, the first post on his timeline was from his spam. Photos of him in bed with another nigger. <laughs> Bro, plot twist. That would end her. That would end her. Spam. That would end her. Her man and his man. Her that, man and his man. That would end her. She could never <sighs> tell her friends who... She could never tell her friends why she's broken up with her man. Oh, of course not. That would end her. He's a cheat. I don't want to talk about it. That's literally, it. He's literally, he's a cheat. Literally, he's a cheat. I don't, don't want to want talk, talk about, about it. it. I'm trying to move he on. He literally wasn't even my man anyway. So I don't Facts. even know why you're yeah, grilling yeah, yeah. me. Stop, stop. I don't stop. even know why you're grilling me. He wasn't didn't even have a key. Stop. He yeah. didn't have a key. <laughs> he didn't have a key. Relax, ladies. <laughs> he was just a ting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. well, we're done now. Yeah, yeah. I'm washing my hands off it. I'm done with it. We're moving on. Let's get bottomless brunch. Mimosas. Mimosas. Yeah, yeah. Where are we at? Wow. Yeah, couldn't. Honestly, promise you, couldn't. Well, read that third one again. That that one, that one. Which one was that? The one, the one. Uh, I can't remember what it was because it, it, the one I sat up for. So we're either talking. Um, I think it was the third one. I thought you had a gag reflex. I thought you had a gag reflex. That one. So you told me that one that when you're getting wooded in your tonsils, you're going to be uh, 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 can't handle it. But I was oh, full. I was full. fully in there, fully and in, I, like, you didn't yeah, flinch. You're a little flinch. soldier. You didn't flinch. I thought you had a gag reflex. Promise you. That's that, enough. Yeah, that broke me. Yeah, that one that's broke enough. Me. That's the worst thing I could possibly read. That one and, broke um, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be scrambling up the, the closest building. <sighs> I will be scrambling up the closest building. <laughs> Ready to jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready to jump. Anyway, guys, thank oh, you for today. If you're episode. still here, yeah. thank you very much. Jump over on patreon.com forward slash shitty gigs and catch us on Thursday. Uh, and without further ado, love, love, love. Bang. Bang.